<clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. Stupid dumb game capture issues. As I was saying before that crap happened, um, it's um, it has to be intentional. But sometimes Donkey Kong Jr. will randomly sound like Donkey Kong when he's hitting the ball. Stupid crap. I don't think so. Yeah, I knew that was an out. <clears throat> Stupid Donkey Kong Jr. Come on, really? I refuse. I don't say, Sir, this Donkey Kong. Come on. Come on, show off what I want you to replay. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll try five more times. I can't get it, then I'm not I can keep trying. I'll have other opportunities to show off what I'm trying to show off with the replay. Okay, forget it. Stupid Donkey Kong Jr. Take that. Come on, really? Come on. No, nope. whatever.
stupid Burl. Come on. <clears throat> Match point. Bowser and Boo to end off the Star Tournament, and it would have been this video, but this episode because of dumb game capture issues. Figures in the second episode, technically episode number one, I already have game capture issues happening. Yes. Wow. That should have been a fault with how far over that ball went. There we go, that's what I've been wanting to show off with the falls. If you're on a court that has bombs behind your opponents and not paratroopers and you get a fall, sometimes the bomb the bombs will explode. Stupid Bowser. <laughs> Do that again. Sometimes that'll randomly happen where, based on the character, the character, point of characters you're facing, the CPU will end up serving the ball into the back of their partner. And it's hilarious when it happens, because it's kind of rare. Stupid Bowser and Boo. Do that again, please. Stop trolling me with that, Bowser. Boom. Now it's revenge time, douchebags. Time for my time to get the smack. It's my turn to get the smash orders on you. Stupid Bowser! Take that! Championship point. Get smacked in the face, Bowser. <laughs> and 
And I definitely want to say they pulled the bomb and Koopa Troopa models straight out from Mario 64 for this game. <clears throat> And then the credits play, and the first time you view them, you cannot skip them either. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, originally on the Nintendo 64, when they showed this little thing of you and your partner, or you, if it's just singles, against the opposing person or team, it was in kind of like a monochrome type color, not like just dimmed down regular color like this. I could be remembering correctly, but I don't think I am. But again, the first time you complete an entire tournament, you cannot skip the credits. And ordinarily I'd skip them, but I'm not going to on this instance. Now, I want to say after this I can skip the credits for future characters, and I will do that, I th think. Um, yeah, because I want to skip it, and then when I eventually return for the second half of this Let's Play in the future, I will show the, the, the credits off for every single one of the characters to show off these little matches you can see. Kind of. It may not be, but I like to think it's generated by RNG how you and the opponent play, and for instances of doubles like this, you, your partner, and your opponents play. That's one thing I always love about this game, is that when the credits roll, you can see a little... Watch a little match of your character and the opponent, and, and doubles you and your partner and the opponents freaking playing a match of tennis. Like, the ones that... And it's always you and the opponent you're facing in the final match, or in doubles, you, your partner, and your opponents that you're facing in the double match. It's never random. It's always the final, it's always the characters that are in the final match of the tournament that are in the credits. <clears throat> they probably aren't, but would you think that these are the slowest credits ever or what? <laughs> they really wanted to make sure people freaking saw everyone that was involved in the making of this game. And the match that you see, it's, it, it's not going to be exactly the same as the match you play. Okay, that right there, that's what I was trying to show off by why I kept doing the replay. Because when it, like, in, like, as the character doing a bunch of freaking times like that in the replay. Like, the one shot they made that gave them the freaking point. Like, that's what I kept trying to show off <clears throat> by constantly replaying the replay. Look at this real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, this is being longer than I wanted it to be because between the last video and this one, both parts of episode one, it's going on about 50 minutes. I absolutely love this credits music so much. <clears throat> Voice actors! Got Charles Martinet. I want to say his last name is spelled incorrectly here. I don't know. Penn Badge, I don't know who did that did. Jessica Jim, Kate Fleming, Mike Medley. I don't know who any of those people are. Jen Taylor. Sounds like she did voice acting for something Pokemon. I know there's Veronica Taylor. Let me see. I'm going to Google this. Jen Taylor. play Cortana. She played Cortana. Whoever she voiced in this, she is the same one. She also voiced Cortana in Halo, interestingly.
Mysterious Narrator Salem and RW the RWBY anime. Prince it Toad. 1999-2008, she did Princess Peach, Toad, Princess Daisy, and Toadette. Aliens vs. Predators 2. Huh, she also did the voice acting for Peach in Melee. And for Toad in Luigi's Mansion. Huh, she played herself in 1 vs. 100 Live. Zoe and Love for Dead 2. <clears throat> Hilariously, she also did something with Cortana and 20 and Windows the Windows phone 8.1 to the 2014 to present and uh, 2015 to present for what the Windows 10 operating system also there's Bill Trinan Leslie Swan <clears throat> The Treehouse. Shinji Hitano, Hiroyuki Takahashi, Chugo Takahashi. Executive Producer, Hiroshi Yamaguchi. I wonder if that was the guy, like, I didn't know there being any executive producers prior to Owada. I wonder if maybe that person was executive producer for most games made by Nintendo prior to Owada, whether that person died before Owada took over, or it's just coincidence that Owada had nothing to do with this game at all. Also, the screen dimmed because my pro controller shut itself off. <clears throat> Now, I should get at least one unlockable here, if not more than that. <clears throat> then it throws you back to the title screen. Okay, so it doesn't show you getting an unlock. I don't know why. Let me see if I unlocked any cords. Don't matter. Okay, I swear it's supposed to give you a notification that you unlock stuff, just like, uh... For games prior to this game. Um... Unlocking the four characters in the one stage in Smash 64. But yeah, um... By doing that, I unlocked the Mario and Luigi Court. And I also unlocked Donkey Kong Jr. And interesting, that's it's been ages since I played Mario Tennis 64 the first time and unlocked Donkey Kong Jr. and Shy Guy, so I would not have remembered this, but when you unlock them, they're already automatically unlocked as star characters as well, which is very interesting. Again, it's been it, it's been years. Like well over a decade. I'm 26 now, 16, yeah. It probably would have, definitely would have been before I was 13, possibly before I was 10. I have no idea when I first played this game, because it's been so many years, but... Anyway, yeah, I unlocked Donkey Kong Jr. and that Corb. Anyway, guys, uh, 
this is now going on over 50 minutes for this episode between these two videos. No thanks to Dumb Game Pack for your issues for it being in separate videos. But anyway, guys, that said, that's it for this video. I'll, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Or these... I'll restart. That's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed these videos. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Mario Tennis. Bye, everybody.